the notion of countries and nation states is really disappearing. And it's not disappearing because things like the UN and NATO are stronger. It's disappearing because corporations are no longer tethered to a particular city or a particular state or a particular country. And so you have enormous amounts of power that are not tethered to a particular set of laws or any laws, really, or any legal bodies. And that's, you know, whether or not the United States declines doesn't mean the power of the people, the corporations in the United States is declining, because I don't think it is in any real way, you know, and I don't think it, I don't think it will be, and I think that to kind of follow the, um, you know, follow the money is always a great idea, follow the money, you know, it's not really U.S. versus China, it's like who's going to make the most money out of the cheapest labor force using, you know, and kind of snooker everybody else into buying it, that's where the power is, don't you think? Yeah, I do. I mean, I don't think, you know, the U.S. is just one of, nation states are just one of the of the many different kinds of global powers out there now, black markets and but corporations is corporations is a huge, huge internationally organizing force on the scale of nations, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's the difference between the king, the you know, the king of Belgium and the Belgian government in the 18th and 19th century in Africa, and what, you know a large corporation like Microsoft is doing with workers in China. It's really the same thing. They're just not a nation. You don't, Microsoft as an entity doesn't have a rule of law that can be challenged or anything within it, so. Mm -hmm.